right, I'm excited for this one. Got a um, Epic Hero Wolverine, X Men 97, and um, saw it at the store. I was kind of hesitant to get the uh, figure, but after looking at the head sculpt, I just couldn't resist. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an unbox, I'm gonna do some comparison, look at uh, what well, unbox articulation, uh, and then we'll just do a comparison with um, our uh, 118th scale. Uh, Marvel Universe line and, and see how it sizes up and we'll go from there. So first things first take a look at the box There's the front there. You can see uh, See the head sculpt you can see partial part of the body of the team that's coming really excited for uh, Storm there and uh, I saw Wolverine Cyclops and Rogue so I just snagged them uh, The other videos will be probably coming up sooner than later but I wanted definitely to get Wolverine done um, just because he's he's the dude, you know. So from the box, there you go. It says 4 Plus, Epic Hero, X-Men 97 in the front, 4 inch. And there on the side, you, you'll see his character plus a little snapshot of him from the series on the X-Men 97. Back shows him kind of posed with his little um, extra extra piece there with this slash and um then on the other side we have the whole team and i'm man i would love to see a beast i'd love to see a, a um morph another jubilee another gene gray i was super excited for the gambit and uh if they if they're gonna do bishop again you know, that'd be cool but uh so that's the lineup that they have on the series for x-men 97 where they have the whole team in figures we do not know yet um i think there's a five pack coming with uh those five figures on the box um and i think that's going to drop in the fall from what i heard and i've read so um yeah if if that's the case um i might we'll see what happens <laughs> might 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 go grab that too um and then do some major customization on this guy but anyway here's the opening with all these guys um, you know, the box is open. You can see it's not even plastic there. Uh, no plastic. I think there's some, um, a lot of pride in not having plastic or being more sustainable. Um, so there it is. Open from the top. And when you open them, it slides out, I believe. Yep. And as I learned with the Guardians of the Galaxy, there is a tissue paper. And in the tissue, you'll find the, um, the effect, or the power effect. In this case, we have this slasher. Pink slasher. It, I believe goes on either, either side. And um, I don't know if you guys can see it there. I'm not even the camera. So here's the pink slasher. It's like the it goes on the wrist here. Boom. Let's we'll see in a second. Um, take a look at him here. I'm gonna go ahead and just pause real quick and undo all these. All right, there we go. Got all those undone. Again, with the guardians, I would love to be able to use that as a background somewhere. Um, but. And they have this arrow pointing down, and that's not so hot. So here he is. He stands at about about three and a half inches, and about if you count his his cowl there, he's at about three and maybe seven maybe 3.75 um so under four inches for sure um but three and a half i mean that's if you look at the scale and i marked my ruler here for scale if he's at three and a half at the top of his head he is standing excuse me he stands just about five foot one inch at three and a half that's about right so he's actually a little short 
even in the scale he's supposed to be five foot three uh which would be at about um let's see yeah it'd probably be man it's a little it's gonna be a little bit taller but if it's in scale and i've like i said i've used uh, the cyclops buck as the scale my scale setter for uh the collection and uh, he stands at exactly 4.25 and he's supposed to be six foot three so then when you do the math um you know that works out to be about um 17 inches 17.65 inches per inch and then when you work it backwards and put it back on the ruler um three inches and 3.5 inches is about five foot one so he's actually a little short which is cool because you know we, we've gotten some tall wolverines and much taller wolverines even if you compare cyclops to let's just say i'm kind of jumping ahead here but like some of these this style wolverine that came with the you know this was from the i want to say it was the um uh secret wars with and i did a head swap but he's actually about the same height as cyclops and that's not right you know that's not correct uh, he's got to be shorter and so um so it's good to have a short wolverine it definitely is i do appreciate it i'm going to put cyclops aside here just for later as far as articulation is concerned you know the head rotates like normal there is no uh, upward motion or downward motion with his head um, arms the the shoulder kind of hinders some movement there um, but if you pull him up um, he is able to rotate at a wet kind of a wide angle um, they're able to go up 90 degrees okay the elbow also rotates so you can go this way fist pointing that way um, and he is showed his elbow bends to about uh, i won't say it's 90 degrees it's kind of short a little bit shorter of 90 degrees and it also outstretches this far does no wrist articulation but uh, those are some pretty good claws there. I do appreciate those claws. Uh, too bad it's not too straight. All right, same thing for this side. Same articulation, same elbow. This side looks like it bends just a little bit more. And then the upward, his, yeah, this, this definitely uh, impedes any upward I mean that's as far as it goes up before you have to kind of so that's that rotation is kind of jank, janky um let's go to the legs real quick no swivel on the on the waist um but legs they go out to about here let's say here they go out to about here go back they do not go back at all so they suffer the same um issue that the epic uh, marvel guardians of the galaxy did um they do split some so you got some some type of van damme pose there if you if you know who that is uh so it does go up the same thing with this side no backward motion there knees it is a pin and uh pin joint so it like I said, about 90 degrees there, which isn't bad. It actually hyperextends up, which is not good either. Um, and of course, spins all the way around. I do like the pointiness there of that, of these, uh, the boots there. I don't know if you can see them. There you go. That's nice and pointed. They're really nice. Same thing with the head sculpt. I mean, that cowl, it's just, that's why I got it um, for that, for that face, for that head. And maybe for his legs. Alright. So, uh, what do I like about it so far? Definitely the head. Not a fan of the of the 
uh, shoulder articulation. I do like the claws. If you see them there, they're all separate. Um, I like the fist. I wish this was a closed fist, but I do appreciate the claws again. And they're nice and shiny, chromey. I like the fact that it's, you know, the tiger stripe Wolverine. Um, and I love the foot claw, the boot claw, uh, cows. I don't know if that's what they're called. Um, things I don't like or things I want to improve on. If I were to keep the figure and, and uh, not just do a head swap and, keep, and lose the figure, i definitely put uh, ankle articulation, wrist articulation. Uh, I might do some here with the shoulders, whether it's, uh, I don't know what I'd do with that shoulder pad thing. Um, but I definitely probably do the, um, might do a double joint on this elbow. I know it's rare for a Marvel unis universe even, but, uh, it could probably take that. I'd have to play with it, but, uh, I also, so ankle articulation, I might do double, double knee joint there, but it's pretty good. I'd also probably do a thigh cut. Um, on his thighs, I would probably also, um, give him a ball joint at his neck, um, or a pen, a pin ball joint for his neck so that we can look up and down, um, a little bit easier. Um, and then also I would probably give him some, some type of waist articulation. Um, so that's what I would do if I were to customize this um obviously it can stand as is uh it's not as dynamic as um some of the others um but i think it, it'd be great it's a nice little figure let's go ahead and compare it to um some of the other wolverines we had again we, we already saw this guy from secret wars uh he secret wars wolverine here towers oh my goodness, his, his ankle's really messed up on this one I'm going to have to fix that up. He really twisted his ankle. You know, you'll see it. His ankle's really twisted there. It looks like he twisted his ankle. Um, but that's uh, Secret Wars Wolverine. And then we have um, the X Force Wolverine. And this is all just to give us a, a height comparison here. I really like this height, even though it's it really is still a lot taller than what he should be. Uh, this one stands at about 3.75, which if you put it back on that scale, like I was saying, with Cyclops being the standard buck as far as like height, uh, 3.75 will bring us at about uh, 5 foot 6 inches, so between 5.5. Uh, 3.5 and 3.75 so maybe three and um, uh, uh, five eighths would probably be the ideal height for uh, Logan here but um you have yeah, X-Force Wolverine there he is um, I'm gonna go and put this guy to the side because he kind of doesn't count just because he's so tall we also have the first appearance Wolverine with the head swap um, he stands probably at the exact height that he needs to stand for the scale. Uh, he's, oops. he's at, yeah, he's at three and five eighths, which is perfect. It's probably spot on as far as his height's concerned. The only thing that these, you know, every Wolverine figure that we have, except for the extremely tall ones like the um, Secret Wars one or the other Tiger Stripe that came with the Ninja, um, they all suffer with the same problems, and if you have Wolverine, you know exactly where I'm going with this. These ball joints, um, their the ball swivels are, they're just not that great. Um, I would have much preferred a, a ball socket. In fact, um, I'm working on one X-Force Wolverine and looking to replace his hips with the ball sockets so uh, he could be more dynamic with his pose without having to worry about having that lined up in position. Quick little pause there because uh, as I was going through the video it occurred to me that uh, I didn't explain what 
ball joint and hip and socket are. So um, this is an example of what a ball joint is. You know, this is a ball joint. If you can see it in here, boom. See that ball right there? And it has a peg that goes up and it's undetachable. So this is where you're stuck with. And this insert that goes into the, ab the abdomen there sometimes gets really loose. And this part that goes into the leg here is really tight. So um, that's why this is an unfortunate um, engineering design for Wolverine because you're going to get loose joints. And that's exactly what's happening here with the X-Force. Um, ball joint or ball pagan um, ball uh, socket are like this. So this is your typical uh, Marvel Universe figure as this the ball joint there socket here and boom these are these are much easier to work with as far as if it gets loose you can put some stuff in as a matter of fact I would have to recommend or suggest if you have loose joints there's this stuff here this is kind of old already it's called fix it uh, loose joints you can get it on uh, eBay or I don't know where else you get. I got it on eBay. But the cool thing with this figure is that it has ball joints. I have not tried to take it out yet. Uh, I'm going to... Um, not ball joints. It has the um, ball and socket joint. And so that's pretty cool. I do appreciate that with this figure as well. So you can remove legs like theirs and put it on him and it'll fit and so that's the difference between ball socket and um peg and um ball joints and peg and socket joints and he has a peg and socket which is great compared to some of these other figures that are the right size it's just they have a ball joint instead of ball and socket like the one that's or the ones that have this buck um you know this build this mold uh, and but they're too tall and so um that's a that's a good good move for ball and socket joint on his legs it's something that uh definitely needed and so hey i just wanted to explain that um hopefully it makes sense oh and while i'm at it we did a size comparison or we're doing a size comparison this is his comparison with um like the movie versions of Captain America. This size, I mean, this, this, he fits within this scale as well. Um, it probably fits within this toy line, the one with uh, no ankle articulation or wrist articulation, um, better than he does with the Marvel Universe, I think. But hey, we're gonna jump back into that original video. Let me go ahead and show you what. Uh, I'm doing with one of the tiger shite wolverines that um, that was super tall. But now, after some modification, made him a little bit shorter. This is not finished, so you can see his green claws. It's because I'm still customizing him. Um, he's almost. He's a little bit. Actually, he's three point. He's at three and five eighths. So he's at the height that he needs to be he's much bulkier looks i mean look at the details compared to um the epic series uh, obviously has much more articulation he'll have better claws because i didn't like i mean just look at these claws compared to and what they might look like compared to these flimsy i mean they, they wanted to separate these claws right which is pretty cool but they almost i mean they just look it look, look kind of messed up and if you get a bad one like this one look look at that and that's kind of what i was afraid of with the epic series and actually these claws stayed straight or staying straight which is awesome but i'm working on these claws so i mean these these things look hopefully they'll look nice if i get you Get you in view here. There we go. There we go. 
So it looks a lot better. But anyway, what I've done with him, you know, his obviously his shoulder pads are missing right now, but uh, he has that swivel neck. He doesn't have that super extended crazy neck. Look at this neck. Right, so you have to actually have that, like a crazy a head that kind of actually goes with it. Uh, you can't just put any type of head, head swap. It has to be a, a, a one that kind of works with him. Um, but I, can, I fix it for this guy, in my opinion. He looks up, looks down, looks around. Okay, I've also given him a thigh cut swivel so we could position him. Also giving them some ball joint ankle rockers. So he has, you know, he'll be able to stand and do more dynamic stuff. And I do like this type because of that ball socket, like I was talking about earlier. And um, these other, all the other ones that we have, whether it was from the movie or um, the one with the Sentinel, um, they all came with those ball joints that just, they're more cumbersome than, than helpful. And usually I'm all about ball joints. Um, one more comparison though. Um, this is my favorite Wolverine of them all. Just because he was the most, um, poseable in comparison to the rest. And that, that's the superhero showdown Wolverine. And um, that's what he looks like with the Epic series. He's a lot, he's kind of taller uh, compared to him, but just the details of him, he's, I mean, he's got the double, double pin uh, elbow, double pin joint. He's got his boots swivel, which is awesome. It's got a decent ankle. It's not a rocker, but it's an ankle. It, it does do a good job, and his head moves pretty well. So, um, but compared to comparison his height, comparing his height to him, he is, uh, you know, he's a little bit taller um, than what he should be. He stands just about the same height as um, the the um, X X Force Wolverine. Uh, so he's he does run a little bit tall compared to what he should be. Not quite the three and five ace, but like I say, he's my favorite just because of his posability. Um, so there's that. There's there's all the Wolverines I I can compare. I and mean, there's more to be compared to him, but that's what he looks like compared to him. Um, he runs on the shorter side, but he actually it looks good. Uh, he is a shorter guy, and here he is with the standard buck that I use. Again, it's a Cyclops, and this one's. Actually, a custom Cyclops as well, um, and he's he, he, he's short compared to Cyclops. He, he looks small, um, and I think what when you look at his height, uh, you can easily see that he can probably use an extension on his neck. And if I put on those ball swivels on his feet, he probably add a add a couple, you know maybe a sixteenth of an inch, maybe an eighth of an inch, depends what I need, um, where I need it, you know. But I think he'll fit in if we wanted to use this this figure. All right. Um, next thing I want to talk about real quick is um, just the Epic series in general. Um, you know, they, they've, they've stepped up our so that way we can have 3.75 figures, uh, four, four inch figures. And I actually really do appreciate this Wolverine. He has this nice effect. I mean, I don't know if I would keep it on that, keep it on him for display. You know, he's supposed to be slashing, I guess. You know, um, let me see if I can put it on right real quick. There we go. All right. So there's a slash. Okay. Um, I think this looks more like a gambit effect. Um, in fact, I probably will use it as a as a gambit uh, card instead. Um, I'm not sure I'd keep it as a Wolverine. 
before Wolverine. Um, but that's what it looks like. You know, it's supposed to be a slashing effect. Um, but why they chose pink? I mean, like I said, that that to me that stands. That's a, a gambit uh, color, as far as his um, his powers is concerned. Um, but yeah, I do appreciate the figure. It will. I'll probably keep it and do those modifications, and for sure do the head swap. What I do want to look at, though, real quick with you, and I haven't done it yet. There we go. We'll swap ahead. Who do I want to swap ahead with? Let's go with the first appearance. Oh, his, his ball. Ball joints are a little bit smaller. But, I mean, that works, right? Uh, I just need to put some material in there to make it sit straighter. But, man, maybe some a little bit of color coloration difference. It'll work. It will work. What about if I... Let's see if I can do this one. Alright. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Hey, that, that looks really nice with this guy. I might... Down again, look down, look up. I hope with the material, I'd be able to look up a little bit better. My camera cut off, um, so anyway, that's what it looks like with the head scope on a uh, modified Wolverine here. Color looks really good, it gives you some more articulation there. Uh, just but that's a that's a different head. Um, uh, neck pivot that I have set up on it. So he actually uh, does look really well with this tiger stripe suit. And so that's going to give me another option. Um, I do like this head sculpt. I'm going to give you a closer look at it. I mean, the cowl looks great. Let's see here. Focus, baby. Alright. This cow looks great, and um, just everything about this this sculpt is just reminds me of that that era, uh, X Men. Um, the little smirk there is pretty pretty cool. Uh, comparison to the some of the other sculpts, I mean, I I like the Marvel Universe sculpt as well, um, but this one just gives you another option. Um, let's see here. Here's one of the original head sculpts there. And then this one. I mean, this one's, this one's just kind of sad. You know? He doesn't look, he doesn't look great. He needs work. Whereas this one, this one just, man, he looks good. But of the two sculpts, I think throughout the uh, Marvel Universe, uh, I think I appreciate this one the most. Um, I like uh, the Superhero Showdown sculpt. Uh, another, I have another one of these, and I've went ahead and whited out his eyes so that way, you know, he doesn't, you don't see the blue in his eyes, but. Uh, and that's kind of what they were going for with this series. It's kind of like the realistic um, look. And I actually like this this sculpt as well. And it's got the and that cut, you know, deep cut in the cheek, which is classic Wolverine, right? Um, this one has it as well. As you can see, there we go. And it looks nice. He's got that grimace. And now we have it in the Epic series a little bit. And it's not as accentuated. 
right? Sorry, guys. But it is there. And uh, this is just a nice sculpt, head sculpt. Um, and then third would be uh, both the um, X-Force Wolverine sculpt. And he's it's also in the, um, I think it's the, it's in the same sculpt as, as this sculpt, but it's the yellow, it's not Tiger Stripe, it's the, um, and you're going to have to correct me on this one, but it's uh, Ultimate Wolverine. And see how this bald, man, these ball joints, man, they're just such a pain compared to, you know, like uh, a um, ball socket joint. So he just wants to move on his own sometimes, and I don't like that, you know. There he is with that. So overall, this is a great figure. I it just needs some um, some tooling, um, some modifications. Kind of very similar to the Epic series, uh, Garden of the Galaxy. Just needs some. Um, some more articulation which is uh doable if you if you can if not i think it could stand on its own uh, i mean it fits in with the scale um good enough you know he he definitely is shorter than cyclops by about a foot in um in the comics five foot three Cyclops, Cyclops supposed to be six foot three, I believe, or six foot one. I can't remember right now. <laughs> I think I said six foot three before, so I'm going to stick with that. Um, so, I mean, that's a foot difference, and you can definitely see it in this, in the, in this, in this figure right here. You know, so him and Cyclops standing, you know, standing toe to toe. He probably could use a little bit more height, um, but. I think he, he he fits in well, and let me see if I can um, stand him straight up real quick, as as hot as tall as you can get. There we go. And, you know, could be a bit bigger, I think, uh, to fit in within the scale. And so, um, I think that's what I'll end up doing: is giving giving him some more height. Um, like I said, if you, if you put the first appearance Wolverine up to Cyclops, I mean, it, he, he still is short, but this looks like it scales well, or better, I should say, you know, um, that's just kind of the way it is as it stands right now. And so that, that one eighth of an inch does make a difference. Anyhow, that's the Epic Series lineup. Comes with that slashing um, effect, which is pretty cool. But like I said, I think I would probably transform this into a Gambit card. You know, where he's holding it and then go from there. Speaking of which, Gambit, I'm looking forward to seeing what it looks like and seeing how he fits in as well. Uh, stay tuned for those videos. Gonna have a Rogue and a Cyclops one coming up here soon. Subscribe, like, comment, let me know what's up if you like this this content. Catch you later.